Sean Michael, I guess, just to start, how are you? That looked pretty scary. Oh, yeah, I, I'm good now. I just caught a cramp in both my legs, and I, I couldn't move neither one of my legs. Right, you just trying to win a Grammy or something, <laughs> win an Oscar is fun. Nah, yeah, but, you know, I, I feel good now. I just got to make sure I drink some more water before the game. Did you, know, you take this home and you drink it like this. Did you know it was a cramp right when it happened, or were you scared? Yeah, I knew it was a cramp, yeah. Yeah, I done had a cramp in one of my legs before that felt like that, but not both of them, but I didn't think nothing was torn or anything. I know that's probably what it looked like, but thank God I'm, I'm healthy. Yeah, is that scary at all? I mean, you weren't even hardly moving and you go down. Yeah, it is scary because I'm like, you know, how do I prevent that? But I talked to my trainer, he just told me I got to eat better before the game and get some more fluids in me. So, But it was scary, though, you know, and, and it didn't feel too good, but, you know, Thank God I'm good now. So. I think it was kind of telling just how, how quiet it got. Like the crowd saw what you did. Uh, how, how did how'd the night go aside aside from that? How did you think it went overall? Aside from that, I felt like uh, it was good. You know, I think I played pretty well in our system, hopefully. Um, you know, the flow of the game was pretty good. You know, I was able to feed off KB, you know, DT, Avery, you know, pretty well. So, you know, I, I think it was going well before that. But, yeah, obviously, that ended my night early. But, you know, I'm glad we got the win. You know, I'm, I was happily supporting our guys on the bench once I got back from the uh, training room. So. You guys started 0 for 11 from 3, and then you finally opened things up. Did it feel like some sort of twisted joke that you guys couldn't get one to knock to go down? Man, I don't know what it was. You know, shoot around, we were shooting good. Practices prior to, we were shooting good. Maybe it was just first game jitters for everybody. You know, but, you know, once I made that one, I think Caleb made one, and then we were off to the races by then. We knew once one of them went in, we'll be good. You know, the coaching staff just kept telling us, keep shooting with confidence, because, you know, they're there watching us shoot in practice. So, you know, they still believed in us to make them, and then they started going in. The one you pulled on the right wing from NBA range, I mean, where does that confidence come from in your, in your first game in Gallagher? Shoot, just, just shooting in the gym, you know, coming back late nights, you know, you got the headphones and listen to music, you know, you imagine moments like that. So, you know, you just build that confidence. But it also comes from my teammates. And the coaching staff, you know, they seen me shoot those type of shots. I've seen them shoot them. So, you know, just being able, <clears throat> just being able to have a support staff that knows that you can hit those type of threes and believes in you to shoot them, um, just gives you more confidence. Caleb, what kind of spark was John Michael tonight? Uh, he was a great spark, man. You know, like you said, we was in a, at halftime. We was all stressing about like not making the three. We saw like it was like shrug, we were struggling at first. Coach was like, don't hesitate. And he was a spark. And then, you know, the way he was guarding the ball, picking up full court and everything like that, it was just a spark. So, yeah, he really, like, kick-started everything for us. Thanks, oh, no. You're welcome, man. <laughs> you, had, you had 15 on seven shots, a handful of rebounds, a couple blocks. What did you think you were getting? I, I, thought it was, I thought it was good, you know. Um, have moments where I feel like I went quiet. And um, I feel like I shouldn't. I shouldn't do that. Like, you know, I got to be aggressive and more assertive all the time. But then I, mean, I feel like I did good 15 and nine rebounds with two blocks. And I'm just out there doing my job. I, like, one of my biggest keys this game was rebounding because last game with the exhibition, I left for like three rebounds. Today I finished with nine, so I feel like that was a good improvement. What did you guys think of the defense tonight? Um, he had that lull, I mean, late in the game. But what you think of the defense overall? Uh, it was it was kind of weird at first, like, but it's not something I haven't seen before because they run similar defense like Texas Tech, where like they just keep the ball on the sideline, try to blue everything, rotate. So it wasn't really like difficult. It was at first. It was just like we didn't play to our speed, our pace. We kind of like let them dictate it. So in the second half, when we started getting stopped, and then we started getting the half court. It was like, okay, like, we're not going to do this. Y'all going to do what we want y'all to do. What about your defense, though? I mean, you guys really shut them down for a long time. Yeah, uh, I think at the beginning, you know, once we saw our shots weren't going in, we really had to lock in in the huddle and say, okay, we'll get everything started on defense. You know, we wanted to get more fast break points. Even prior to the game, that was an objective that we had. <clears throat> so we just made sure we toned in on defense because the shots weren't going in. and. You know, once we started making shots, you know, we got more amped on defense as well. So we started getting steals. You know, KB and Musa was blocking shots left and right. So um, once we pick, once we picked those things up, I think throughout a full 40 minutes, we'll really be tough on the defensive end. Have you? This is your first game, obviously, first official game. 
You've been around a team with this kind of collective defensive effort. Say again. Have you been around a team with this kind of collective effort on de the defensive end? Yeah, I have. Uh, at High Point, we played pretty good defense. Okay. You know, we were like I think third in our conference, and yeah. uh, no made three. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but you know, just having guys like Caleb and Musa around the rim really helps us guard, even if we get beat, which we try not to. But they're there to you know just defend those type of shots. So you know, having that around, I haven't had that type of uh, caliber athletes. Maybe I had one in my last school, uh, Zachary Austin. But you know, overall, we have Caleb, Caleb uh, Asbury. You know how he picks the ball up full court, all the minutes that he's in. You know, just players like that really come together and just make us a lot better on the defense. Caleb, Musa had that low post pass to you, like under the basket. He had a similar one to Tyreek. How far has that kind of connection come, and how far, much farther do you think it can go? Uh, it's like that connection has came a long way. I remember a lot of last year, a lot of people always wondered why Musa and like me and Musa aren't playing together. Like, why can't he just play the both of us? But now, me and Musa are on the same team. We practice all the time. We like do the yo-yo. That's that's the pass that was the yo-yo pass that he gave to me. But every time it's practice, like I'll be in the middle of a post move. I see a double team. I'll just throw throw the lob to Moose because I know he's gonna be right there. We practice zone, everything like that. So like that connection is really good right now, and it can only get really better. It just depends on how the defense that the other team wants to play it. Because if they send a double team with the with the four man, I'm gonna be right there. And if I'm in a post up in the Five men want to step up. Just find Musa, just throw the lob. This was your first game guarding on the perimeter as much as you have. How'd you find that? It's fun. Uh, playing the four is really fun. It's challenging because my whole life I was told go stand by this block, block shots, put your hands up, and guard somebody that's 250, 260. So being able to guard somebody that weighs as much as me or a little bit, like weighs a little bit more. It, it's fun. Like I could go out there, switch, guard a four man at one point, I could go guard a two. I could go guard a point guard. Then the next possession, I could go guard a five man. So like it's fun, it's challenging, but it also helps me on offense and defense because now I can fly in for rebounds. I can see where something's going. I can use my link to help, like John Michael recover stuff like that. I could be more supportive and help. So it's fun. Your two guards, Avery and Avery and BT, they both had seven boards today. And I was just looking from last year, Avery averaged three boards a game and uh, Bryce averaged two boards a game. So I mean, is that just a, hey, first game rebounds kind of happen like that sometimes? Or is that maybe something y'all seen in practice going forward? Nah, Coach Mike told us before the game that, you know, we were playing against bigger bigs than we have in the exhibition or like the scrimmages we had prior to this one. And he told the guards, we got to help out tonight. And Avery and BT just took that challenge. And, did exactly that. You know, both of them have seven boards, and the guard was pretty good. So that, it was talked about. It wasn't something that just happened. You know, Coach Mike just put that expectation on us all, and they just took it around with it. Any other questions? Awesome.